I think this could be a dynasty creating loss for the Chiefs. That's right. A dynasty creating loss. Because you look at the history of Super Bowl champions, when you look at just the history of the game, right? 55 of them. No team has ever won three straight Super Bowls. Now I understand. Look, I'm jumping the gun here. They won't go for three straight. They're trying to go back to back. I just want to highlight just truly how hard it is to not only win the big game, but have sustained success. Because we've seen a ton of great dynasties out there. Right? Steel Curtain with Pittsburgh. Dallas had an incredible dynasty. Even most recently, the New England Patriots. I categorize it personally as one long dynasty of 20 years of success because even when they didn't win Super Bowls, they're still either getting to them or coming very close. I know some people want to break it up. One dynasty in the early 2000s, one dynasty just a few years ago, whatever. Either two dynasties, one dynasty doesn't matter. They have obviously a ton of success. But look at truly how hard it is to win the big game. Like I said, no one has ever won three straight, which again, those Chiefs are only going for back-to-back, but just more to highlight truly how hard it is to win. Only eight Super Bowl champions out of 54 have ever repeated. So think about that. Right? Obviously, we won't count the Buccaneers because they haven't had a chance to repeat yet, but out of 54 champions going for a repeat, only eight have done it. But despite that, despite no team ever winning three straight Super Bowls, despite the fact that only eight out of 54 teams, or, or chances, if you will, had a chance to repeat and did so, plenty of great dynasties were built along the way. Like I just mentioned, Steelers, incredible dynasty. 49ers, Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, they had their time. The Raiders had a nice little run. Um, and again, most recently, the Patriots with their, I say, two-decade-long uh, run of success. But dynasties were created. They were built and, and, and were achieved despite the fact that Super Bowls were lost in the, uh, along the way. Playoff games were lost along the way. And at least coming out of this game, I can view this loss as a chance to not only humble the Chiefs, help to open up their eyes to the true of the cracks on the team, throughout the team, that reared their ugly head in the biggest moments and derailed them for winning back-to-back Super Bowls. If they are able to look themselves in the mirror, accept reality, and learn from these mistakes, I think this truly can, can really make this franchise even better next year, make them even more formidable going forward. And I truly think that this could help create a dynasty. Three Super Bowls in four years, three and five, four and six, whatever you want to, you know, use to create a dynasty. I truly think that could happen here, and that is what's building in Kansas City. A few different factors, right? Let's look really just purely from a humbling perspective. He's going into this game. I said it. I thought it. Patrick Holmes could do no wrong. Laid it out back on Thursday's show. In the three years he's been a starter in the NFL, what he's been able to accomplish already, someone no, you know, no one else has really been able to accomplish what he has individually up to this point. MVP award he had. Super Bowl MVP award he had. First time all, or one time all pro, I should say. He was a pro bowler all three times that he's been a starter in the league. His career record entering the Super Bowl, 38 and 8. Guy could do no wrong. But as we know, as we've seen, right, the NFL is a league of parity. It's never that easy. It truly never is that easy. Never that easy to win back-to-back. Never that easy to play your best game every single time you're on the big stage. Never that easy to have as much success as he had so far in his three years in the league. And hell, even look at Tom Brady. For all the accolades that we gave him, right? Ten Super Bowl appearances. He just won his seventh. Even he, despite winning seven, went ten years in between Super Bowl uh, wins. So it's not that easy. And I, I will admit, I, I fall guilty to this. I thought it was going to be that easy. Because of the head coach, Andy Reid. Because of the way the offensive coordinator, Eric Bieniemy helped scheme up the offense. Because you had Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey and a solid offensive line and a run game that, when you needed them to, could help win you a game. But even with all of those things going right, as we've seen, it's still not easy. Still have to get humbled in this fact. Even though, honestly, Patrick Holmes didn't play a bad game last night. The offense really struggled, but a lot of it wasn't on him. Drop passes from receivers, bad penalties. We'll get to the penalties in a second here. Oh, it's line was a sieve. If anything, I thought he played actually pretty well. It was the rest of the team that really let him down. But this is what does have me 
intrigued of looking to the future why I think that this could this loss actually could be more beneficial to the Chiefs than actually them winning the game. Because struggling on the big stage like they did really for the first time in Mahomes' career, we saw the Chiefs look mortal. We've seen them have no answers, if you will, and really struggle. Patrick Holmes, after the game, talked about how this this game, this opportunity, this, not embarrassment, but this this handling of a loss that they suffered yesterday could be a really huge teaching moment. Obviously, it hurts right now. I mean, I've, it hurts a lot. Um, but uh, we're going to continue to get better. Uh, we have a young group of guys um, that have learned a lot of – had a lot of success and learned from that, but we've had a few failures, and we've, we have to learn from that. And we can't let this define us. We have to continue to get better. Uh, co- coming into going into next year, uh, being even better and preparing ourselves uh, to hopefully be in this game again. So, you, so like at least maybe I'm making too much of it, but hear him at least talk about, hey, we got to get better. We have a lot of young guys on this team. This is going to be a huge learning moment going forward. If that is the case, if they take this loss, they look at it, they own it, they see, all right, what did we do wrong? How can we get better? To me, the, the Chiefs are going to come back even stronger than ever. Because you know what winning does, and we hear this all the time, winning cures all, right? You have a bad day, but you win the game, it's all good. Stat-wise, you have a bad game, but you win, it's all good. Winning can make anything feel better. But also, can hide some of your flaws if you're not looking closely enough. And one of those big flaws, and we saw a comeback yesterday in one of the worst ways for the Chiefs, penalties. They had 11 flags yesterday for 120 yards Third most in Super Bowl history. They're setting records, not the kind of records you want to set. But this wasn't a one-off. This wasn't a situation isolated only in the big game. This has been a common theme for Kansas City all season long. Fourth most penalties in the NFL this year in the regular season. Sixth most penalty yards in the NFL this year. And you were talking about pass interference, defensive holding, two calls that we saw a lot of last night in the Chiefs secondary. Well, they're third in both those categories. So this is this is a, a massive issue that's been plaguing Kansas City all season long. And now that it comes back to bite them, now that it helps uh, destroy their back-to-back title run, maybe this is something that you address in the offseason, whether it's coaching, whether it's implementing some sort of system to punish guys who commit all these penalties. It's learning from your mistakes, realizing the small things truly do come back and bite you. Because honestly, too, when you have Patrick Holmes, he's almost like a human eraser. Sure, you have some flaws or the offense line's not playing great or maybe the play call is bad and the defense is actually playing well, but he's able to keep plays alive, scramble, throw just incredible passes down the field. Like, guess what? Erase some of the mistakes. Bail you out when things don't, don't go your way. And that did not happen yesterday. So you heard Patrick Holmes talking about how this is a teaching moment, this is a learning moment for all these guys on the team. You look how penalties, you know, something that's really plagued the most is long, really came back in this situation, came back to bite them big time. Another thing that has me at least not, not excited, especially as a Colts fan in the AFC, I'm not excited for the Chiefs to continue to win, that's for sure. But it has me at least, I'll say this, believing that this loss can actually be more beneficial to the Chiefs than a win, help really start a dynasty building in Kansas City more than maybe a win would have, is because, again, when you have a loss like this, when you're humbled, but you still have a lot of the guys come back. It adds fuel to the fire. And a lot of those core, core guys that do come back will not forget this moment. Because think about it, right? You have Patrick Holmes. He's going to be there essentially forever. There through 30, 2032, it's a lifetime contract. But Travis Kelsey is coming back next year. Frank Clark, Chris Jones, Terry Kill. These guys are coming back and going to be here for the next few years. A lot of the most important pieces on your offense, on your team, will be returning, which is huge. Because you're not going to have a massive exodus. You're not going to have guys now. Usually what happens on Super Bowl teams, part of the reason why it's so hard to repeat and have sustained success is because guys get that ring, they get that championship, and then they go get their money. Other teams overpay to have a Super Bowl champion on their team. And then all of a sudden you can't afford to have everyone. You start losing guys left and right. And the team that was once constructed so well to get to the Super Bowl now is picked apart because some of your best players are going elsewhere. That's not the case here. It's not the case last year after they won the Super Bowl when a lot of these guys came back. And again, you see they got right to back to the big stage. Not going to be the case for the most part again this offseason. So they have a lot of guys on that team who remember what this will feel like. Remember the sting. The frustration. Almost the embarrassment, if you will. 
So I'm really excited to see how this team takes a gut punch. Because again, I, I, we talked about this on Thursday, even leading up to the game, even in the preseason, when we were given our picks for the year, I told you, I said the Chiefs would not only get to the Super Bowl, I thought they were going to repeat personally. We never saw them do any wrong. Because again, even when they get in a 24 nothing deficit, we talked about the human eraser. When they have flaws and they have warts, Patrick Holmes and his offense was able to erase them. And now they finally faced a situation they cannot overcome. So now it humbles you. It wakes you up, if you will. Not that you're overconfident. I, don't, I wouldn't say and categorize the Chiefs as overconfident because even here all throughout the year, they were motivated to run it back. Motivated to try to go back to back. This loss, I think, just exposed some of the cracks on the team. And if you do, or at least you, you take account of that and focus your offseason on, on fixing that, I think this team will come back better and stronger than ever. I think they'll go back and win next year. I, I truly do think this loss is more beneficial to them than a win.